Hello everybody, welcome to yet another video on this learner pathway on a rise with SAP journey. So in the last video, we understood about our rise with SAP journey and you all would have now understood that it's a new offering. It's described as a bundling of existing SAP assets. Actually, it's a business transformation as a service to help the customers how they can get to S4 in a cloud from where they are today. And if you see that a lot of customers will obviously be at different starting points, right? Post this nine years of SAP S4 HANA journey. So the outcome of RISE is that it is actually, it helps to facilitate the transformation of businesses to achieve an intelligent, sustainable enterprise. And the best part about RISE is that Actually, with this offering, it helps the customers to shift their ERP workload to cloud infrastructure. And it's up to the customers to choose their infrastructure. It helps to have a single contract under one SLA. And this is very important because if you see this particular perspective here, if you see there are multiple different SLA and different supports and different contracts. But here, if you see, if you see this under as a single umbrella, here it's a simple commercial contract. So a lot of different SLEs and a lot of different contracts gets clubbed under a single contract. And if I show you further, wherein you will understand that to understand more about the contractual model of Rise with SAP, wherein in the last slide we were talking about how the different SLAs and the different contracts have been clubbed into a single contract. So if you see here, all this SLA and support with respect to the software and support, the infrastructure management and the technical managed services all have been clubbed under a single commercial contract. And here you have the two different separate contracts as in with the application management services and the advisory and implementation services. And at the core of it is your SAP S4 HANA cloud. And definitely as you know that as we migrate towards RISE as in as an offering of RISE with SAP. So definitely the infrastructure also goes towards the cloud and you will have your own flexibility to choose whatever hyperscalers you want. And with respect to the technical managed services, some of the roles and responsibilities goes to SAP but definitely some stays with the customers. And with respect to SAP S4 HANA Cloud, whether you want to adopt a S4, SAP S4 HANA Cloud public edition or a private edition. In terms of public edition, it will be a ready to run cloud ERP that will deliver the latest industry best practices and continuous innovations. But with respect to SAP S4 HANA private cloud, it will be a kind of a tailored to fit ERP solution that will adapt adapt to an organization's unique transformation. And I must say that SAP S4 and a cloud private edition is the mostly preferred one. And the exciting part that you can see here is this particular aspect where it talks about one contract, one price, one provider, one SLA, and the biggest advantage for businesses are the lowering the total cost of ownership and reducing the cost predictability. Now, when you talk about RISE with SAP at the center of your transformation, if you see what's in RISE with SAP, it's all about the cloud solutions, the infrastructure and the services, and all this combined together to deliver a clear migration path to the cloud. And if I start off with your migration and modernization services, so, here, if you see that it's all about the path that you want to choose to migrate to an SAP S4 and a solution. So the aspect that you need to focus here is that what's the use case that you want to migrate to as in choosing the path that's right for your to business to get started, right? So let me talk about a bit more about the different options available that suit your business best to begin. So if you are already on an SAP ERP system, then your migration path could be to migrate to SAP S4 HANA Cloud Private Edition and 
the methodology that you could use is use rise with sap migration tools to preserve your existing configuration customization and your historical data and if you are already on an sap s4 on a system then you would want to transition to sap s4 on a cloud private edition and here you get two options actually either you want to move to a cloud edition or you want to keep it on premise with a cloud infrastructure so these are the different options that i wanted to talk about and definitely you have the other two factors as in your cloud infrastructure and security where definitely you have sap managed infrastructure and applications and as i already said about the global hyperscaler infrastructure where you can deploy your cloud solutions from sap onto your preferred hyperscaler infrastructure with no additional contracts and the another important aspect is your security risk and compliance which helps to ensure security by design with a data security trust model and now so we talked about your cloud solutions and we talked about the migration and modernization program and we talked about the cloud infrastructure and security so if i move ahead now to talk you more about the capabilities infrastructure and the services so this were what i was actually talking about so you have among the solution components you have sap signavio which not just gives the process analysis it talks about how we are doing a current process and how you can continue to improve it going forward then another part of rise is actually this technology portfolio so we have btp it's i'll say it's more like the conductor of an orchestra right it pulls all the different pieces all together and unleashes the core of your business by enhancing extending and augmenting your sap s4 in a cloud with sap btp and definitely i have already talked about this where sap s4 in a cloud private edition is one of your preferred options now talking about the cloud infrastructure sla is one major factor which will definitely come into picture right and so i can say that sap provides an application sla of 99.7% remember the fact that it's 99.7% for production and 95% for non production environments and this sla percentage can be increased if the customer subscribes but then will be it will be bearing an additional increase towards the cost and now if you see about the migration and adoption services and tools so on that aspect there are a lot of innovative tools that will help the customers to turn to an intelligent enterprise and the best part is all of these under one contract under one sla in a subscription based model as i showed you all earlier and this also helps in unmatched reduction of total cost of ownership for customers so rise with sap is not just a product it's not even just an infrastructure as a service or platform as a service or software as a service so i'll say it's a combination of all these three which will i'll say it's a business transformation as a service so what's really included in rise with sap as in what are the components that are included so with respect to components i have already talked about your sap s4 in a cloud deployment and the different options that you get and what should be your migration path then i want to talk about this business process intelligence which is actually which will help you to quickly understand improve and transform and manage your business process across your entire enterprise and besides this definitely you have sap signav your business process intelligence within rise that will actually help to figure out the best opportunities for your improvement then you have different tools and services for your technical migration uh, which will help to include such as the identification of your custom code if you are moving from an on prem to a cloud solution which will which would definitely require migration right so there are a lot of such tools and services available the custom code readiness check the migration checks which will help you to migrate to a cloud offering then definitely i talked about this 
technology extension portfolio as in your SAP BTP where you can build, integrate and extend your business applications with a combination of technologies as per the different pillars that are available under BTP whether it is analytics or application development integration or intelligent technologies even powered with AI solutions. <clears throat> then you have your SAP business starter pack and this is where actually it's integration of SAP S4 HANA cloud with business network starter pack which actually helps to infer like reduce any kind of silos and increases a lot of transparency among a lot of supply chain stakeholders and in this the it consists of actually your Ariba business network your asset intelligence network and your logistics business network so these are among your SAP business network starter pack and one point which you would like to actually highlight with respect to your SAP S4 on a cloud deployment is that specifically with the most preferred as in your SAP S4 on a cloud private edition is there you get two options as in one is your standard option and the other is your tailored option and under your standard option SAP basically provides a set of lot of predefined functions and there also you get to choose among your base standard option or your premium standard option or your premium plus standard option. So let me convey to you that among the base standard option you get a lot of limited services and limited capabilities but if you move from base to a premium plus option there you get a lot of enhanced new intelligent AI based services but definitely a lot of customers may go for the tailored options because customers do get a lot of flexibility. So with that I would like to say that Rise with SAP is a customer first partner centric delivery approach that really helps the customer to transform into an intelligent enterprise and all these bundled together such as your SAP S4 and a cloud public as in software as a service or private edition the infrastructure that runs on a hyperscaler of a customer's choice such as it could be Amazon Web Services as in AWS or Azure or Google Cloud Platform or Alibaba Cloud and with added to the SAP business process intelligence the different tools such as your custom code analyzer the SAP readiness check and your SAP business network starter pack and definitely to add to it but not the least your SAP BTP where it provides all the platform services under one umbrella under one contract and one of the very critical component and the static point that SAP uses for calculating the underlying subscription cost is your FUE as in full usage equivalent and we will not talk about it right now in this particular episode but definitely we'll talk and share more insights about what's FUE and how it's actually helpful from a rise perspective and how it provides the flexibility to allocate the licenses as needed so we'll share more insights on it in our upcoming video thanks for listening to us and thanks for subscribing to our channel hoping to share more such information and insights with you all and do keep subscribing to us and wait for our next episode on understand more about such exciting stuffs before we all drop off there is one important thing that I really wanted to share that is though we are migrating our core solution as an S4 to cloud right but definitely as customers you can have a lot of add-ons which could be delivered by the third party companies right or the partners of SAP. So for those add-ons it's highly recommended that customers only deploy certified ABAP add-on solutions however the usage of certified solutions is not that it's a mandatory one and with this I would leave you with all a question that what could be the fa factors that nudge the client towards rise with SAP as against the other providers such as AWS and all and we hope to get some exciting replies from you all till then tata bye bye see you all soon